Hello. Okay, welcome back to the channel. So I've done um, numerous videos. Well, I think we can call it numerous videos on taxes and living abroad. One of the primary reasons that I left the U.S. was to save on taxes. Now, I've done videos how I structured it, but now this has been almost two years since I left the U.S. and I've got a, a partial tax year and a full tax year in. So I was kind of waiting to get the full tax year in, which was 2023, to give an update on, did this work? You know, was this a successful move? Now, when you're going abroad, there's a couple variables that make it successful or not successful. Certainly fun is one of them. And I assure you that's ha that's been happening. Uh, adventure, trying different things, all that's great. But at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're capitalist creatures and did this cost money or did it save money? Certainly tickets cost money, et cetera. But um, this has definitely been a money saving experience for me. And I break the money savings down into how much have I saved just in day-to-day -day expenses because I'm no longer uh, eating expensive US food, et cetera. I'm not gonna talk about that though because there's plenty of videos to talk about that, how cheaper it is, much cheaper it is to live in South America and other countries. Let's talk about taxes because that's what I started all this for. So what I'm going to go over is the basically the effective tax rate and and how much I saved on that. And so I'm not sure of the exact accounting terms, but what I'm defining the effective tax rate is what was my taxable income when it was all said and done, not counting what was taken out for 401k, health savings, whatever, you know, what what I was actually taxed on. So I guess that's the adjusted gross income um, from year to year and taking a percentage of how much federal tax I owed total, not just owed at the end of the year, but how much the federal tax bill was after calculating taxes. So in, in the past, I've always had to pay a little extra because I calculated low because I'm bad at math. And this year I got a lot back. So let's talk about the effective tax rate. So to evaluate whether or not this was a good deal for me financially, Again, I'm taking out the lower cost of living. I'm just looking at taxes here. In 2021, I had an effective tax rate of 18%. So that's taking all my deductions and everything and just that I could off the uh, adjusted gross income, taking that, what I owed in taxes, doing a simple divide, it was 18%. You know, a lot of that, some of that's at the lower tax rates and then some are a higher tax rate than 18%. But just the straight average, it was at 18%. I didn't calculate for 2022. I did reduce my taxes in 2022, but because that was not a full year, I didn't count it. So the first full year was 2023, the taxes I just filed back in February. And I did file actually early for the first time in uh, many years because I was excited to file them for, for once in my life. Uh, my I had an effective tax rate of 9%. So that's a pretty significant savings for me being able to take off what looks to be about 9% um, in taxes. So 9% of my income back to me as a refund, that's pretty nice. So, you know, did I have fun doing all this? Well, yes, of course, you know, but we're talking money here. I think another logical question would be, did I have any trouble with the IRS? You know, knock on wood, I have not. Uh, they took about four to six weeks somewhere that I don't remember. It was definitely towards the, the, the long end of what they say for a refund. Uh, but it was within their timing, what they say for a refund, four to six weeks, I did get my refund. No fuss, no muss. I assume they double checked everything um, and everything looked good. Why did everything look good? Well, the, I think the reason why my taxes were probably done quite well is because I didn't do them myself. I hired an international tax uh, preparer. Uh, specifically, I use Greenback Taxes. Uh, there are many out there. I found Greenback Taxes on a Google search or something. I've interacted with them. I really like them. I like the guy that prepares my taxes, John. And he did all the forms for me. And they take care of things like, you know, the bank accounts. They know the questions to ask. So you have a bank account with more than 10,000, et cetera, et cetera. Because there's, there's some pretty stiff penalties from the U.S. government if you don't do this right. So, and I'm not a big fan of paying penalties or anything to the U.S. government. So I hired these guys to do it right. Are they more expensive than TurboTax? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, but did they 
find nooks and cranny corners to, uh, to legally get me more taxes back? Yeah, they did. And they did very well by me this year. I was very excited. So I think overall, just from a tax standpoint, throwing Nomadic paid off. From the fun, the lower cost of living, the adventure, that's off the books. You know, that's that's very subjective. It was for me. Was it for other people? I know other people who have gone nomadic who didn't like it. They didn't have fun. They were lonely, et cetera. That's not me. I also have a wife with me, so that makes it uh, very convenient. Uh, so I'm never lonely. But just from a financial standpoint, I, I think it's a fairly objective statement that, yes, if you're a um, W-2 or 1099, an earned income wage earner, not a retiree, not a Bitcoin miner, not, a, not an investor, because those aren't earned income, not trashing them just from, from the IRS statements, uh, that's not earned income. Earned income is 1099 or W-2. You can take the foreign earned income deduction, which is 120000 um, in 2023, 126, I believe, in 2024. There's there's other deductions you can also take living remote. The uh, there's a housing allowance that I don't qualify for, but uh, that is also a possibility for renting out and about and paying a, a hefty rent. You've got to be above a certain level. You can reduce that too. But just if you're out of the country for 331 days or more, you can take the foreign earned income exclusion, and that does a great job of uh, reducing your taxes and getting you more money back and ultimately more money in your pocket at the end of the day. So I wanted to make sure I got the checkup video out there because I've talked about it. It was all theory. Now it's actually practice. I'm making um, uh, good savings on taxes and having fun doing this. So I hope you find this interesting. I hope you're able to move abroad and, and have some fun with it. Um, I'll try to get some more videos out. I know I'm pretty lax on videos. I don't think anybody cares. Um, this was the first time I thought I had reasonable content to, to put something out with uh, that might be useful. I will um, be flying again and get a review of uh, the Delta A350 up hopefully um, in a month. So take care and I'll talk to you soon.